Uh, hi everyone. Article in the BBC today that just it made me laugh. It's really serious, but it, it made me laugh. South China Sea dispute. Mattis says China intimidating neighbours. This is to do with China building um, islands in the China Sea and and basically just trying to claim territory. Um, there's a dispute over islands there. I'll, I'll read it. I'll get to that in a bit. I'll just read some of the article. China is deploying missiles in the disputed Ch South China Sea to intimidate and coerce its neighbours. <laughs> U.S. Defence Secretary James Mattis has said, speaking in Singapore, General Mattis said Beijing's actions called into question its broader goals. Called into question its broader goals. A Chinese military official dismissed the comments as irresponsible. You think, Danosa? Six countries have competing claims in, in the sea, but tensions have increased in recent years, and China has backed its claim with island building and patrols. So, this is the map that they're arguing about. Now, there's two separate groups of islands that, that, that China are laying claim to. The first one is the Paracels, and looking at that map, I'm not an expert on these things, but looking at that map, there's a They've got a right there to lay claim to those. It's well within their territory, or most of them are by the look of it. And they're building islands around and outside that zone just to try and claim territory. Um, and then building runways on them. I think last year they, they were landing, they landed bombers on there. So it's a military um, defence plan they've got. Now with regards to the other group, the Spratills, there's six countries that are laying claim to them and and the other ones as well so sovereignty over two largely uninhabited island chains the parasols and the Sprat Spratly, the spratlys is disputed by china vietnam the philippines taiwan and malaysia china claims the largest portion of the territory saying its rights go back centuries in 1947 it issued a map detailing its claims the area is a major shipping route and a rich fishing ground and is thought to have abundant oil and gas reserves so this isn't just a, a military or a military operation for defence and to you know extend its its defence, but it's also it's claiming resources. Now, let's face it, that's going to be in their uh, in their thinking on this. Now, I find this absolutely astounding. I find the level of hypocrisy. The American Defence Secretary calling out China for intimidation of its neighbours is just the level of hypocrisy is off the charts here i did some research because i couldn't remember i couldn't remember the last uh time china invaded another nation i i can't remember a time china invaded another nation and i looked and the last time it happened was in the 13th century uh i think believe it was japan they tried to invade and then i started thinking well when was the last war they were involved in it was nearly 63 years ago 63 years ago that was the taiwan strait crisis that's the last war they were involved in how many are america in is it eight right now or have they, has it gone back down to seven calling china out for intimidating its neighbors here it's hilarious china has one military base outside its country one America have over a thousand. Julian Assange says 1,400. They've got about 50 surrounding Iran. But hey, China are the ones intimidating their neighbours. How many how many governments have China overthrown around the world in the, since World War Two? None. It's confirmed that the CIA have overthrown have. Uh, initiated coups in at least seven countries that's the confirmed ones that's without all the other times they've tried and failed and all the other times they've done it and we haven't heard about it or can't confirm it for for certain seven it's amazing to me that they're calling china out here as being the aggressors and intimidating its neighbors now I don't really disagree with the statement, to be honest. But what I find hilarious is the hypocrisy. This map 
scares the crap out of me. Honestly, there is no other map that scares me more that I've found in the last four or five months. What kind of country, what kind, not country, what kind of government splits up the world into military zones and has commanders for each zone? That's not a country that is policing the world. It's just not. That's a, that's a, that's a government that's going for global domination. That's what it is. And calling out China for intimidating its neighbours when you're doing all this? <sighs> Hello, pot. My name's Kettle. You're black. <laughs>